hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for all your support today i'll be making a summer dress i'll be using this fabric for it i have two and a half years of african print two and a half years by 45 so i'll fold the fabric into two So this is the folded edge. This part, I'll fold it to that end. This is what I have. This is how I folded the fabric. I'll fold it into two. This is the folded side. This folded edge, I'll fold it to this side. I'll, because this fabric is folded on bias, I'll first mark the bust measurement. I'll get the bust measurement. The bust measurement I'm working with is 40. 40 divided by 4 is 10. Plus 1 inch from seam allowance. 11. So this is 11 inches. So this is bust measurement 11 inches from this bust line i'll go up by nine inches this is nine inches this is just for reference this is her bust line from her bust line i went up by nine inches shoulder measurement from her shoulder measurement to her bust line is nine inches half of her round arm hole but you can get shoulder measurement on this part if you're making this as sleeveless or short sleeve dress or shoulder dress but i'm making it as off shoulders dress so this is just for reference so because it's kind of off shoulders dress i'll minus some inches from the upper part so from this shoulder measurement i'll minus some inches i'll minus five inches So I don't need this anymore. I'll make use of this. On this line, I'll mark her neck width. You can use between five to six inches. I'll use five and a half for her. Five and a half inches. I'll connect it to this line. now i'm going to mark the length of the dress the length of the dress this is shoulder measurement the length of the dress is 40 inches i'll measure to get 40 inches this is 40 inches so i will put it here and see what i have i have 45 inches so i'll measure 45 inches from this point but the length of the dress is 40 inches. I've marked the length of the dress. It's together with the seam allowance to hem it. I will use like quarter of an inch or half inch to hem it. I will overlock. After that, I will now fold quarter of an inch in and sew on it. So now on this side, I will come down by two inches. I 
I will curve it to this line. The length of the dress from this neckline is 35 inches. From the shoulder is 40 inches. The full length of the dress is 40 inches. So I measured 45 inches because I started the measurement from here. That's why I said 45 inches. But the full length of the dress is 40 inches. This minus 5 inches, I will use strip to replace it. So on this side, I marked 2 inches. If you want, you can mark up to 2.5 inches. This dress will have pocket. From this armhole, I will mark 9 to 10 inches. I will mark 10 inches. I will notch it. I have two and a half inches by eleven inches. Five inches plus half inch seam allowance, five and half. Eleven inches. I'll fold half inch in, half inch in, I'll fold it again. I'll stitch on it. I'll do the same on this. This is for the pocket. You fold your fabric into four. Two, four. Into four. You put your hand on it. You mark seven inches and cut it out. Seam allowance. So I added seam allowance. So. I have four of these. What I'll do next is to stitch the pocket and use bias to tidy up the armhole. Right side together. right side of the pocket right side this is the notch for the pocket i'll pin it i'll stitch it with half inch seam allowance after that i'll top stitch on pocket side right side this is the pocket This is the notch, right side, right side. I'll pin it. I'll stitch it with half inch seam allowance. After that, I'll top stitch. I'll do the same on this side. I'll use bias to tidy up the armhole. I cut this on bias and use it to tidy up the armhole. I also stitch the pocket. I top stitch. 
I did the same on this side. What I'll do next is to attach this to the dress. This is the right side of the fabric. I'll put this this way. The neckline. I'm whole. I'm whole. I'll bring this also. I call this on bias. I'll use it to tidy up the neckline. I've stitched it. I also press it. So I'll stitch it to the other side. This is the right side. Right side together. I'll put it this way. Right side together. I'll put it this way. I will use this. I cut it on bias. I will use it to tidy up the neckline. After that, I'll give it a good press. Then I will stitch the two sides and hem the lower parts. I have one inch seam allowance. I will measure one inch. I will stitch it to this side half inch half inch one inch i'll stitch it to the end i'll do the same on this side after that i'll now hem the lower part i will overlock it first after that i will now fold quarter of an inch in or half inch in and stitch on it I also overlock the two sides. I gave it a good press. I have a video on how to make this type of dress, magazine version of it. I'll put the link in the description and also on the comment section. At the end of the video, it will appear on the screen. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.